Hello, my beautiful Virgo dragons. Welcome to your March, mid-March reading. So we're going to go ahead and grab some cards for you. Know your sign. Okay, there's a link in the description that will take you to a very short video showing you a website and a book that you can get to help you with that if you wish. I'm not affiliated, I'm just trying to help you out. It's always good to know your chart. Okay, guys, so let's see. Because all the energies, energy is so strange, right? <laughs> Working with energy is tough. Sometimes, uh, oh, you guys, you know what? This is so, like, the colors in this are very just purples and greens and blues. So very cool colors, um, but very, um, very more um, according to the chakras. It's more in the higher, more in the mind, the spirit sort of things, because we have breathe unfinished symphony into the sea. Yeah, you guys aren't, uh, you need to close out something. There's some sort of a cycle that needs to be, closed out with this unfinished symphony. And again, the number 11, I swear the number 11 has shown up in almost every reading so far. Let's get some cards for Virgo. So while we're getting some cards out, I just want to let you guys know that March is going to be, um, I have some personal things going on in March, so it's going to be a little bit stressful to do readings. You need to be in the right frame of mind, right? There's many readers that sort of take breaks. I don't really want to take a break. So what I'm going to be doing is just reducing the readings I'm doing. So I don't know if I'm going to be getting around to the love and soul readings this month. Um, they're just little short ones anyways. Um, but I'm going to try to get to the moon and instead of bonuses this month, we are going to be having the, um, equinox readings and those are big. So, um, yeah, just stick with me. Love me. <laughs> Love me as I go through, um, the month. So let's go ahead and get some. No, I'm, I'll take this, but I'm not taking all of those. Okay. Come on. Give me some more cards. One. I'm just going to pull from the top two as I need and three. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So what's come out first is we have the, yeah, there's something that you guys really had to sort of, you feel like you may feel alone and like you're sort of fighting everybody. It's had to take some, a, a lot of courage, right? I feel like you didn't see it coming. I feel like you sort of, um, you're sort of confused at why it happened. Um, you might have gotten some bad advice from somebody too. Like there's just something going on and it's this unfinished symphony. There's just something in your energy that, yeah, look at this. You have the five of swords. You're just, uh, again, this is just about, um, you're just attract, like, I feel like you just sort of, somehow you just attracted some really negative, um, energies around you, some bad relationships. And you really just had to like, it's like, all of a sudden you didn't see it coming. It's like, what happened? Like all of a sudden you were under the attack and you're just like, what, why is this happening? Like, why is this even happening? Right? Palace of Wands in reverse. It might have, you feel, feel like somebody's just like, you're, feels very stuck, right? Like, look at this. You feel, com sorry guys, <laughs> you feel stuck. You feel stagnant. You feel, um, you just feel like completely uh, out of everything. Okay. Yeah. Look, like you're not healing. Everything is in chaos. Everything's in chaos. Let's get some more cards for you guys. Ten of coins in reverse. Yeah, it's affected. Like you may feel stagnant, or um, like like you have some sort of like you may have had some financial failure, but something has completely turned you upside down. Yeah, there's, yeah, look at this. Okay, so your world's in reverse. Okay, so there's still something that you need to go back and deal with. 
Okay, there's something you haven't dealt with. You 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 don't know what choice to make, right? So, um, but you do need to end something because you have the Six of Swords. There's something that needs to be ended. This is this unfinished symphony. Like I just hear you need to go to the sea, right? Like there's been so much conflict and chaos going on. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, somebody's been very greedy. Okay, they've been holding, you've been holding on too tight, perhaps, trying to protect yourself. Yeah, and you're trying to move into the space of stability, right? And you will be victorious, but you need to become this, okay? You need to have a more, you need to become the best version of you, okay? This is the king of coins. This is you, okay? This is you as your best self, okay, Virgo? Like, this is, it's, it's beautiful, but this is you becoming the best you, Oh, let's see what your affirmation is. This is just a quick reading, but guys, this is this is it. Like, I feel like until you do this, this is your reading. Okay, the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. I think it's about opening up to um, what you really need. And I think this might be where you're a little bit stuck. Okay, you're stuck in the idea and you need to sort of stop that and and open up because everything's just in confusion. Okay, everything is just oh, in chaos, right? You feel very disconnected and you sort of went against where you should have been going. And this this very much is the to the sea card. Okay, my beautiful Virgos, please like and subscribe and I will see you in your next reading. Bye guys.